wins. We're about to find out. The field, two by two, coming into the trioval. Green flag goes in the air. John King, time to ride, side by side for the lead. Great start by Peters. He gets the push to King that he needs. Now Todd needs Joey Coulter to get there and get on the back of his truck. The top two have separated themselves on the bottom line. Falling back is the 11 of Todd Bodine. Now they're three wide back there for the fifth position. Down the back stretch they go. Less than a lap and a half from Daytona. John King's doing a great job as Terry Cook told him. Left side's on the yellow line. He decides the outside line might be the way to go. Look at Tom Bodine. He's coming back. He's got pushing from Joey Coulter, and they're making some ground. Now moving off of the bottom of the racetrack as they come into the trial. Well, Daniel, they're trying to make something happen up top here. Stay on the other line. Jason Go White, and around Stay they go. The that will line. bring the caution Stay out the as Joey line. Coulter goes flying into the catch fit just past the start-finish line, and that will mean John King will win yeah, at Daytona. I think they're going to have a hard time, even though Logano has a big run, getting back Kirk and Kyle Busch right here. I don't know. Looks like they might have a run. They do. Back down, come back down, come to back walk. down. Cut the other way. Half a lap to go. Here comes Stewart in the 33 as Logano goes to the point. Three wide in turn four. Squeeze to the outside wall. Trouble in the corner. Hard, vicious crash. Who gets through to win the race? Caution flag has just been called. The race leader is James Busher in the 30 car. Unbelievable. They'll face the white flag when they come around to decide the 53rd Daytona 500. Rookie Trevor Bain in his second Sprint Cup start will lead them to a white flag with Bobby Labonte. Here comes Kurt Busch and Juan Montoya, Carl Edwards in fifth. And we know Kurt Busch and Montoya is going to make a move. DW, when will they make it? I don't think they're going to make it till turn four. I mean, we keep hearing about I'm a setting duck when I'm leading this thing. So I guess that makes the 21 a setting duck right now. But We'll see here that 22 knows how to win from that position. That's where he won the butt shootout from. Edwards and Gilliland down to the inside. Try to where did that 34 come from? Try to Gilliland. spoil the party. Oh and my God! Spoil the party for Kurt Busch and Montoya. And here they come through turn four. Gilliland, they... former pole sitter of the 500. Edwards has room underneath. Now he pushes Trevor Bain. It's over. Cinderella Bain is going to win the day. Happy birthday, Trevor Bain, 20 years old. Coming back to the white flag. If they get it, the race is official. Two and a half miles to go in Daytona. With only two cars down there, Trick's going to have to side draft so much. He's not going to get a lot of help from Casey Kane. Look at this outside lane. 47 is pushing to 37. That's going to get him to the 20, possibly. Here it comes. Here comes the outside lane to the 20. Down the back stretch they go. Eric Jones in the 20. He's in front. He got a big push from the 37 of Busher. Here comes the 78 once again. Jones has never won in the Monster Energy Cup Easily. Series. Easily blocked The 78 of Mark Trex Jr. has never won on a restrictor plate track. Coming to the trial for the final time. Eric Jones has won in Daytona. Listen to that emotion. <laughs> that me. Brad Keselowski, the leader, coming back to the white flag. The next flag ends it. If there's a caution now, the race is over. Amarola is pushing hard on Larson. Larson sideways into the oh, wall. Man. There he goes. That's that same wall. Will they let him race back? No caution yet. Sparks for Eric Almarola. He's got a flat tire, I'm afraid. 
Brad is way out there. If, if any if any of these guys get a good run, Brad is in, in trouble here. The track is clear, and they're going to race back to the checkered flag. We talked about the... And here comes Ryan Reed to the inside. Team Penske, Jack Roush, they've never won here in the Xfinity Series. One, two, three. They're all four to the front. It might be too soon. Reed trying to block his teammate, Chris Buescher. Here's the checkered flag. Ryan Reed wins it at Daytona. What a finish. <laughs> With just one lap to go, Andretti takes the white flag at the same time the caution flag comes out. Mario Andretti ready to take the checkered flag, and there it is. He made it. Mario Andretti has won the 1967 Daytona 500. He's won it with an average speed of 146.9 miles per hour. However, that's deceiving because there were nine yellow flags today. Had it not been for that, the average speed could have been well up in the 170s, I should think. 16 tries, only one top five finish for our champion, Matt Crafton. Can he hang on? He's got a big lead. Don't get out too far. The final lap, Crafton in the 88 in front. Johnny, Johnny Sauter, Sauter inside his three wide. Forced his way to the middle. Middle of three. Your middle of three. Come on, 13. You got a guy coming to you. Not over. Keep digging. They're crashing. Rhodes in the crash. Keep digging. Damn. Crashed it up and over. And Castrala looks to me like will win this race. Huge crash at the end on the final lap. And Kaz Grala, the youngest driver in the field, the youngest driver to win a pole award in NASCAR's Touring Series history. We'll have to wait and see NASCAR, but he sure looked like he was the one that emerged with a lead. To the care center, and it's official. Kaz Grala is the winner, the youngest driver to win at Daytona in NASCAR National Touring Series history. Kaz Grala, 18 years old, wins the season opener.